So today I'm going to uh, revisit a topic that I've uh, talked about before, and that is changing drill bits with one hand. I mentioned in a previous video, which you'll find somewhere at the top of the screen here at the end of this video, um, how it's useful when changing drill bits with one hand to use uh, one of the heavier drills that you that have a half inch chuck that you can use the chuck key to loosen up your uh, chuck and let your bit out. So I demonstrated how this is nice and easy with one hand because you don't have to worry like a lot of the drills uh, today that have the sort of chuck that you have to hold the collar and then turn with your other hand. However, since making that video, I've found that in addition to this type, which I still think is good and uh, easy to do with one hand, there are some heavier duty drills, uh, like hammer drills like this sort. This can be either a normal drill or a hammer drill and uh, has torque in case you're doing screw driving or something like that or a torque adjustment. However, uh, you don't have to hold a collar for this one and you also don't need a chuck key. And there are a few different brands I've seen to do this. This is a Ryobi. Um, I picked it up because I already had some other Ryobi cordless tools. I think Milwaukee might also offer one, I've heard from a friend. Um, so, and by the way, none of those companies are paying me. If they want to pay me, great, but they're not. Uh, so, with this, you can just hold it in your knees and uh, loosen up your chuck, and then tighten in your bit. So, uh, one thing I do want to show you here, just getting it adjusted up so I can get my bit into the chuck. Sometimes it can become a bit difficult to loosen your chuck using one hand because you're losing a little bit of torque there as you twist and you can't turn in both directions. Um, so after use it can tighten up to where it's really difficult to loosen. What I found is using a pair of channel locks, if you keep them around, just lightly grip you don't want to damage your chuck, so don't grip too hard and then twist a little bit and it'll loosen it up just enough that you can get your bit out. So um, that's what I have for you today um, in demonstrating how you can <clears throat> use a drill with one arm or one hand. Now you see we have our um, hex attachment back in there. Uh, hopefully this has been helpful for you. If it has, please do like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, have a good one.